NBA or um, Major League Soccer. I'm not for sure which one. So I've been starting off my morning doing some editing and that's done. It's now just rendering and then I'll need to get it uploaded. Uh, that would be the video you would see today, right? No, this will go up tomorrow. Today is July the 30th and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to make my videos be two days behind. So I record the day, the next day I edit and then the next day it will go up. Yes, that's how I want to try to work that schedule. But I got new blinds. See the big mess here? I got new blinds uh, for my front windows. Now, so I'm painting. I got a lot going on here. So um, I'm going to hang my blinds today. Um, yeah, and maybe I'll snap in a shot here of what this area looked like pre, um, pre me repainting it and redoing it. Um, because I, don't, I haven't really done a house tour and I haven't done a tour of what the house looked pre us moving in. Totally blacklit, but there I have one of my blinds hung. But it's lunchtime. So what's for lunch, little man? Pizza. I don't even know if I, there he is. Pizza. I don't have the thing flipped up to know. Pizza. One package of artesian flatbread from Al Aldi. A can of tomato sauce from Aldi. A little bit of oregano for the adults, because the kids will not eat green stuff on their pizza, but this is for me and Eric. Pepperoni! We love the boar's head pepperoni. A mozzarella cheese from Trader Joe's. I'm not particularly saying you have to buy it from Trader Joe's, it's just the Last place I bought mozzarella cheese. And out, too much dairy on my pizza and Eric's. I'm going to actually go a little bit of mozzarella and a little bit of the almond mozzarella shreds. Just to not have so much dairy. And um, I think this will be it. I could put some vegetables, but let's start with this. Parchment paper. Why? you have less to clean up. Uh, one flatbread, two flatbreads. I hope this is enough. I may have to start moving to buying like two packages and making three and then saving the other one for something else. I don't know. So next up is the happy, it's called happy harvest tomato sauce. Let's go. Couple spoonfuls. Give it a little spread. Oh, maybe just a bit more. There we go. A little bit of tomato sauce never hurt anybody. So we will make this one the kids so it will get no oregano because they get freaked out when they see something green. And then this one can be mine and the hubby's tomato sauce. Okay, oregano on the adult pizza. Every little bit of flavor helps, right? Look at that. The kids love cheesy pizza. Oh, the oven just got up to temperature, which is good. I go with um, these. I put them in a 400 degree oven for about seven or eight minutes. A little wider. Not too heavy on the dot pizza. We'll kind of backfill a little bit with some of the other cheese. Okay, here is the, it's called almond mozzarella, mozzarella, mozzarella style shreds. And no, I don't speak very plain English or clear English, see? I am, um, ooh, this looks really nice, like real, like real mozzarella. Let's give it a little taste. Hmm, not too bad. I thought it would have more of a nutty flavor, but it doesn't. That's not too bad. You get that at Trader Joe's. Oh, Colin's gonna give it a try. What do you think, Colin? 
It's okay. I like it. Colin likes it. So this gets the Colin approval. So that's the child approval. So if you're looking for an alternative to a dairy cheese, um, almond mozzarella style shreds at Trader Joe's. Here we go with some pepperoni. Okay. Boar's head pepperoni is absolutely our favorite, favorite, favorite pepperoni. So a little bit more expensive than the Hormel, but when you make your own pizza, you're saving money anyways, right? I mean, I've probably got, let's see, three, I may have $5 invested maybe in both of these pizzas. So not too shabby, not too shabby. Quickly cut up this pepper and put some on the adult pizza. So um, be right back. Colin is munching on the leftover peppers. But here is a look at the adult pizza. So, oh, let's open the oven. And in you go. That is my bottom oven. Down there. Now let's open the top oven. Oh, thank you, Colin. He handed me the pizza. And in she goes. Alexa, set a timer for eight minutes. Alexa, shut off the alarm. Oh, there's the kids' pizza. There's the one kids' pizza. Is one adult. Oh, it's really hot too. One adult pizza. Look. Mm. Good. Quick, easy, cheap lunch. Everybody loves it. Can't beat it. Do you got go potty? Huh? Do you gotta go potty? Tell me, do you gotta go potty? She does. Oh Lord, she's ready to go. Something's got her attention over here. Oh, probably another dog that peed on the tree. It's hotter than molasses out here, but at least I don't have to wear a mask. <laughs> it's a funny thing about, I can feel comfortable walking down my neighborhood sidewalk with the camera in my face because it's so hot. Nobody comes outside. Nobody can see the ridiculousness of me walking down the street, walking my dog, talking to a camera. I wanna get a set of those herons. I think I've seen them up front grate. I think that's pretty cool. I love that. I love that water and those fountains. Pretty cool. There's another one over here on this side. And they put this nice little park bench here and they call it Fountain View to sit and watch the pretty waterfall. <laughs> and the dog has got me going all in circles and everything. Do you like to smell the flowers, Charlie? Do you like to smell them? <laughs> if there's any alligators near my neighborhood, or near my house, I should say, I'm still in my neighborhood, they'd be in there. <laughs> This is the kind of marshy water you would find an alligator, for sure. But um, I've really never seen one here. They say that there's one that comes here every um, May and she lays her eggs or whatever it is they do for mating season. But, um, but I've never really seen one in my neighborhood. So I'm taking you back to our neighborhood park. Um, like back there's the houses and we have this little road here that goes past this little marsh that I just showed you that takes us back to Lake Sheen. And this is um, this is all owned, I guess, by, by all of us here in the neighborhood back here because this is our neighborhood park, which we all have to pay for via our HA, HOA fees. But um, it's gorgeous back here. I'll show it to you as we get closer. Okay, and here is the park. Um, You'll see the fence over there. That building is, I think, um, a, a house that nobody lives in, but it's somebody's somebody's place to keep their boat, I guess. But all of this area here in this fenced-in area is part of the subdivision, and it's called Robeson Park. And um, it's called Robeson Park because Stan and Carolyn Robeson were one of the first people to live here. This place was built in 2002, 2003 and they were the chairman of the board of our HOA. So they kind of dedicated the park to them. And I believe 
um, he has just sold his home so he's no longer here with us but they dedicate the park to him and it's very very nice here they have a table here where you can eat with an umbrella um, a place to grill picnic tables spin around because the dogs got me wrapped up in the thing in the leash um, picnic tables a little swing over there rocking chairs there's a cornhole here um, so this is all nicely done here for the residents we have a dock we'll kind of look, look over here and this dock is um, out to Lake Sheen now wouldn't this be a wonderful thing to have as my backyard unfortunately I'm not downtrodden but I'm sure the heck not that rich to be able to have this view but we have this dog, so it allows us to come out. See down in there, no alligators. <laughs> to come out and enjoy the Lake Sheen. And actually we also have a boat ramp that um, we can, if we have our own boats, we can launch from here. And it's only for the homeowners, so it's a perk. Um, but with any of these perks, it comes with high HOA fees. So, um, you know, it is what it is. When you live in Florida, you will uh, have in Orlando more than likely you'll live inside a neighborhood that is HOA ran and you'll have HOA fees and they vary um, ours is I think $1,300 a year but it gets us this the boat the boat ramp um, the you know everything that HOA has to keep up with but I think this is worth it look how gorgeous this is and for reference of where we are right beyond right here in this area if you've ever heard of the orlando eye or the orlando icon it is directly straight ahead there and universal would be right over there i can't see universal from here but if they have fireworks we can see them and sea world is down that way so when the sea world fireworks go on we can see them from here it's just like the other side of the tree and then over here, uh, not quite two miles away directly, is the Magic Kingdom. So this is kind of, this is Florida living, guys. It's beautiful. I just, I love this. And it's so hot, nobody else is here. So me and Charlie, she found a shade spot. She's like, wasn't protect, wasn't realizing we were going to be out this late. She found there a shade spot. So we better head back because she's getting a little overheated. Charlie says, you know what feels good after a good hot walk? Cold tile. Come on, Charlie, let's go get some water. Let's go get some water. Okay, I might have pushed her a little too hard. <laughs> Are you burning up, Charlie? I'm so sorry. I brought her water to her. Yeah, get you some drinks. It's hot out there. It's hot out there. Guys, this Florida heat is real. I mean, clearly she's going to live, but I probably pushed her a little too hard. It ended up being um, all together, not quite a mile walk, but it's probably a bit much for the Florida heat and the poor little shit zoo. So I'm gonna go take a dip in the pool because it's either go swimming or go to sleep and the heat makes you want to sleep like seriously you really just want to take a nap but I don't want to do that um, because I need to readjust my sleep schedule so that I'm going to bed earlier and getting up much earlier because the kids will be starting school in oh, less than two weeks I mean not this coming Monday but the the following so um, and while they don't have to physically go to school they do have to get up and sign into class every morning and they're gonna to have to have their breakfast and everything else so it's gonna be no different so I have to get myself on a schedule for the first time in eight seven seven years for the first time in seven years and really not even that uh, for the first time in 12 years I have to put myself on a regimented schedule because my job that I quit in 2013 I had flex time, flex scheduling. I didn't have to go into the office. I could work from home or I could go in the office when I wanted. So I kind of got to set my own schedule. And for the first time in since 2000, I've always had a flex scheduled job, I guess. 2003, 2004, 
2004. First time since 2004, I've not had a job that required me to be at work at a certain time and work to a certain time. So yeah, we're talking 16 years that I've not had like a regimen and schedule and it's restarting in less than two weeks. But anyways, let's go for a swim. Feels good, real good. But we are now headed over to Disney Springs, but I'm not going to put Disney Springs in this video. I'm actually going to go make a different video, which you'll see tomorrow. But after I get out of Disney Springs, I gotta run by Target, so that you will get to see. So I'm gonna head over right now. Let's see. I don't know if we can see or not. I'm gonna give it to Winka, and Winka's gonna try to find the blimp. There is a blimp out the window. Goodyear blimp. Surprise, we checked in at Disney Springs, but that's because I wanted to come up here and get a view of the blimp back behind me, but we're on the uh, level five of the uh, Lime parking garage at Disney Springs. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, let's just see what's going on. So over yonder there, we'll zoom it in, is the uh, Goodyear blimp. And my guess is it's here for the NBA, or um, Major League Soccer. I'm not for sure which one, but there she is, just kind of floating over Disney World. Uh, the blimp is getting ready to fly right over top of me. He's right there. <laughs> We're just getting ready to head out of Disney property. See you real soon. Headed to Target, and the blimp is right there. Oh no! I can't see it because I'm driving, so I'm just assuming that it's on the blimp. So Maddie just made the comment that this road is filled with a bunch of random crazy stuff. You know what that random crazy stuff is called, Maddie? Uh -uh. It is called tourist trap. <laughs> this is the tourist trap area. Uh, 192 and International Drive. That is Orlando's tourist trap. And we are right in the midst of it because we're headed to a Target down here. For some reason I just like to shop down here at this Target. So I come down here and shop at this Target. So. We're getting close. It's on the other side of Margaritaville, which I need to go check out sometime. Margaritaville. So right here, over here, trying to drive here and not look at the camera, so sorry if it's not real centered in, is a Margaritaville Resort. Um, there's a big hotel back there. There's a water park right there, which you can see called Island H2O Live. And there's also cottages that you can buy and you can live in back in there. You can't see them from here. Or you can rent out as vacation villas. Um, they're not cheap cottages either. They, you know, I think they're going up for over $300,000. And they're, you know, you're not getting any garage with that. You're not, let's turn it back that way. You're not getting any kind of, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's like a key island or key is that right no Florida Keys it's like it's a Florida Keys kind of style of cottage and I'm coming up on this light I should probably try to get up there before it turns red and um, yeah we're gonna go guys it's still yellow <laughs> you stay in there and um, anyways it's a Florida Keys kind of cottage and it's not very big just a few bedrooms so oh somebody's got a snazzy new Corvette <laughs> living life large but anyways we are here at Target Target how do you want to put it this is a uh, Target in the tourist area so I probably will have to stop coming here once the tourists start coming back because it will probably get really busy and um, that will entice me to not want to come because the Target where I live is services locals and it's always busy 
well it's not even close to where I live but where you know the target is closest to where I live so um, but they are building one over on Flamingo Cross is Flamingo Crossing or something like that but this is the target we are going to and we're going to go pick up a few items and I should get parked a little better I gotta quit driving and doing this since we are shopping in Osceola County and since I would always shop with the mask on anyways but Osceola County and Orange County uh, down here mandate that you wear masks so um, if you come down on vacation or something you know, on this time during the COVID you must wear masks inside all public areas so just just so you know we're home and she's so glad to see us oh you gonna smell my you gonna smell my dress let's not do that so let's go outside got lots of stuff you see, we're still trying to figure out how to get everything to fit in the garage. Got some stuff in the back of the van. And the sky looks so ominous right now. It's kind of like spooky. Very spooky. But back here in the back, we got a few things from Target. And we brought home dinner from BurgerFi. So uh, we're going to take it in. And uh, we'll catch up in just a second. So I got some burger fry. Uh, I believe this is a chain restaurant making its way around the country. But uh, we got a cheeseburger. That would be for the pigs. Because then the pigs is Audrey. Audrey is a cheeseburger fan. That's mommy's or daddy's. <laughs> I got a doogie over here looking for food. Do you want to hold the camera? Yeah. I'll just rip it open. And I see one grilled cheese. Achievement and Is that your grilled cheese? Yes. All right. And we got hamburgers. Uh, Nothing special. You can actually get uh, vegan burgers there. So that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and stop and enjoy my dinner. Well, we had dinner. Burger Fi. It was great. What a day. Um, I think. I think I took a lot of footage today. I'm not really for sure, so interested to see when I throw this all back up there. Um, I ate, and then I caught a message on my YouTube um, from a user, or from a user, from a viewer. <laughs> Somebody I recently have kind of been in contact with. Um, she blew me away with the message. I'm, uh, I seen it, Kristen, and I am going to respond to you. Actually, I'm going to reach out to you, um, beyond youtube i'll figure out a way but i will reach out to you and um thank you thank you that made my evening i kind of been in a like a just in a feel good position for a while but anyways um that's today <laughs> wow it was hot <laughs> did anybody ever tell you it's hot in florida in the summer like really hot it's really 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 hot but um i'm getting through it i'm adjusting oh the lights adjusting in here but um <laughs> what a day <laughs> thank you if you're with me for this long i really deeply appreciate it um i just bought some hangers and some crap at target by the way i know that i kind of took you there and i didn't show you what i got but nothing really great outside of this really great dress which I'm gonna be wearing probably tomorrow, so you'll see it in tomorrow's video. So I'm gonna do a video tomorrow. So um, outside of that, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for being my friend, because you are my friend. If you are watching and talking to me, I appreciate that. And I will see everyone really, really soon. And um, give me some content ideas, y'all. Tell me what you wanna see, what you want me to do. I'm kind of like a bored woman sitting here quite often, and I need some ideas. So, I'll see everybody later. Bye.